Howdy guys, Fred's 32 is back in business. Actually, not quite yet, I'm kinda sick really. And... I'm here to just play some Rockman 2 Endless while I give you guys some updates, what's going on. First of all, we just started doing choreography, well... We're gonna start doing choreography pretty soon. I am gonna be starting that with David McInerney, also known as McInerney76. Here on YouTube, he's one of my best YouTube buds ever. And me, I got accepted to all three of my colleges. If I were to tell you what colleges they were, I'd have to kill you at the end. But basically, here's the rundown. Graduation is just nearby, I got a prom date, already told you about that earlier. And, yeah, Rockman 2 Endless, here we go. This one's kind of hard, really. And, hold on a second, I gotta configure my controls. Alright, we're back. So, we're here in Bubble Man stage. Now, it may seem that those guys have 4 HP, but they can be shot once with the Mega Buster to die. Case in point. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag since I'm recording. My grades are starting to diminish a little bit, so I'm trying my best just to save those grades, really. I do already know which college I'm going to, though, so there is that. Two of my classes are just horrible, horrible classes. One of them, my teacher doesn't even teach. If I were to tell you who those teachers were, again, I'd have to kill you after you see this video. I'm just kidding. But I don't want to release any personal info, you know? But nah, uh, these lanternfish, they are weak to the leaf shield, but I find the best thing to use against them is the metal blades. And come on now. These things hurt a lot if they hit. They take about 12 units of health per hit. The lanternfish. And now... I gotta recharge some stuff. I'm gonna do as much stuff buster only as possible. Here we got these hot dogs. They go down pretty quickly. This one is the easiest. And do all this lag, it's pretty easy for me to mistime things. You know? And something very, very funny I'd like to show off on this last one. Yes, even native to the stage, they are weak to the leaf shield. While this is actually completely impossible in the original game, it is still in the code. It's not like you can revisit stages to tell if they do that or not. Now, here's one nasty thing about this ROM hack. I believe this is the only Mega Man Endless ROM hack that I've played where the damage doesn't increase every 262 or so screens. And also... <coughs> yeah, like I said, I'm sick. Also, the Wily bosses come here. Which is very... Not fun. It's not fun because... That means I have to have a full bar, I gotta have a pretty high amount of bubble lead and crash bomber every time I clear 30 screens. And yeah, that's kinda sucky, really. And plus, the blue beam trap is pretty difficult to get through. I've only done it twice here. You can save the shot, I've done that a good number of times. You can do that trick where you save one shot. But, overall, it's just a very nasty boss. I probably will eventually do walkthroughs of all these games. I really hate those, that HRM series I did. I did, like, right before junior year. That was just terrible. And so is my ability to game to play games properly. 
Now, I've only cleared that section once without the pause glitch. But more more stuff about our film that we plan to make over the summer. We plan to have a meeting like every week. One meeting every week. Just so we can, you know, <coughs> settle how to do things. Once the summer comes, we'll be doing everything, and that will just be awesome. Also, I got into a summer internship. Ah, whatever. I'm starting to lack health a good bit here. When I'm not recording, I'm usually pretty good at mashing the button. But when I am recording, everything just starts to lag, and I haven't found a real solution to cure all this, really. Now, the force beams, these are easy. This is like the easy set, but there's another set that's not so easy for me to deal with. I do feel a bit less comfortable doing this one, though. Really sucks being sick, I can tell you that. <coughs> I have no idea what happened. I'm usually never this sick. If I'm sick like this on Monday, I'm just not going to school, and that's just it. Just that plain simple. And I feel very spoiled by my ability to have turbo control. Super Castlevania 4, I'm not sure when that walkthrough is going to be coming along. It will be coming, but just not now. Definitely is not coming right now. Like I said, the Wily Boss is coming. And here we have Mecha Dragon. This boss can be a pain in the ass before you even. until you learn his strategy. Raw Mithril, Perfect Ran, the Wily stage is back in 09. Right now, he's doing the fortress stages. And holy god, that was close. Holy shit! Okay, one hit. Hey, guess what? There's a floor right here. Spoilers! So, how much health do I, do I have? Six bars. <coughs> now, for the next boss, I gotta make sure my crash bomber and or bubble lead are pretty full. Bubble Lead doesn't need to be completely full, but Crash Bomber has to be absolutely full, just in case I mess up saving that shot. Don't rely on ever doing that. Don't ever rely on doing that. Because it's very, very difficult to pull off. Even the Wily... Even Wily Machine 2, second form, doing that one Crash Bomb trick, it's really easy once you know how to do it. But again, once you... If you save that shot, <coughs> if you save that shot after fighting the booby trap, you still have to worry about actually, you know, doing it perfectly in landing the crash bomb. Pretty tricky. You have to make sure he's moving backward and all that. Like in the next 21 screens, this needs to be absolutely filled. Also, Let's appreciate this nice advantage point we have against this blocky. Because you only have one shot left. Until you get a game over. Still, it's easy enough, though. Doing it against the blue beam trap, though, that trick against the blue beam trap, is not easy. Definitely not. I have managed it a good number of times. In fact, you saw it in my walkthrough, I believe. But hey, I hated that walkthrough because it was on normal mode. You gotta do it legit on difficult mode. Let's see if these guys have anything nice for me. Hey, weapon energy, I'll take that. Also, we gotta make sure item number one's filled a good bit too, because we will need that to get around the walls. Check out Red Mage 1987's channel for some nice techniques on how to get through things. He does weapons only challenges for the Mega Man games, and he actually managed to do this without item number one. But I never really felt like. Oh god. You know what? Best thing to do right here is to scroll everything off screen and try again.
Alright. Oh. Come on. I was trying to do a moonwalk right there, but eh, whatever. But those... Those are turning Sniper Joe armors. Those Sniper armors, they take a huge load of damage. Now, let's just hope Wily 4 doesn't come into play here. <laughs> if it does, I'm gonna be super pissed and I'll just have to be forced to die. Because unlike the Mega Man 4 Endless, I don't think... I don't think you can use weapons if you don't have enough energy. You could do that in Mega Man 4 for weapons like the Rain Flush and whatnot. Okay, good. Woodman. And also, due to some poor programming thinking, this fight is really easy. You don't even have to worry about the dodge maneuver for that much. Also, although I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Alright. Ah, couldn't do it. Well, at least there's not much we can do. Worry about right here. I would not want to get hit though, and I didn't. I'm actually doing pretty well for this run. I did die once though, so there is that. But again, same routine as always. One thing I sometimes like to do here is just drop bubble lead right here. These low to the ground enemies, they are partially weak to the bubble lead. You cannot damage them with the Mega Buster, and eh, that jump that I just pulled off, very, very difficult. I do have the Mega Man 5 Endless as well as Mega Man 3. In fact, the Tellies and the Spines actually appear there. I mean the Mega Man 9 version. And hey, weapon energy. Awesome. <laughs> you don't need to have full item number 1. Although, I did almost run out of energy one time when doing this. Ugh! Alright. Gotta remember this isn't a perfect run. It'll be fine. Now, you can't really use the bubble head here, so we're gonna use metal blades. Like I said, I'm gonna do as much buster only as I can. Also, there's that mistimed section for the disappearing blocks from Heat Man stage. And the blocks, some appear faster than others. Some of those blocks, they appear so quickly. So yeah. I think we're just gonna cut for here, just so I can get another recording in. Alright, we're back, after this refreshing pause. Now, I just got into the Sonic series too, and I'm one of those Saw and Amy fans. You probably know what I'm talking about when I say Saw and Amy, you know? Also, I got into a summer internship program, so that should be fun. Thankfully, I'll be able to take a week off from my mission trip with my Methodist church. That will also be fun. And this is the place where I died last time. Let's hope I don't die. Thankfully, those things are incredibly weak to the leaf shield. Doing this pause glitch really helps out. You can also kill these things with the bubble lead, which doesn't make any sense at all, considering the fact that electric robot masters usually outnumber the water bosses. Case in point... <coughs> Case in point... Pump Man from Mega Man 10. He's weak to the Thunderwall. And dear God, if I have to think about that weapon again. Thunderwall is definitely one of the worst weapons in the entire series. I don't think anyone would disagree with me on that one. Alright, so I don't really need to worry about weapon energy that much, because there's nothing I absolutely need to fill now. Now, if you end up fighting Alien, Make sure you have a crud ton of health, because he can take out that much health, really. Every time you come in contact with him, he takes 20 fucking units of life away from you. And
and his shots do a deceptive amount as well. I'm gonna try and avoid using the crash bomber as much as possible too. Also the same for the Pico Pico K same for Pico Pico Coon, I think. It might be Pico Pico Cun, but I might be mispronouncing your name. Otherwise, I just call it Pico Pico Cun. Just like Akumajo Densetsu is actually supposed to be called Akumajo Densetsu. Also, as for College Life, I do plan to review some Famicom and Intellivision games. For example, I mentioned this in my Transformers review. I will be showing off that game as well. My rules, the games cannot... My games cannot go, they can't be any newer than 86. They can only range from the years 84 to 86, which means Mega Man is off limits entirely. I can get Castlevania though. I can't get Castlevania 3, but I can get Castlevania 1. I do plan to get some Disk System games though. <laughs> Alright. This guy is weak to the air shooter, Crash Man. Or Clash Man, is so called in Japan. Yeah, for some reason, I could never. I could never get around the fact that he always jumps automatically at the start. Normally, he jumps and fires a crash bomb whenever you fire, but at the beginning, it's just so aggressive and. It's somewhat, it's somewhat hard to predict, really. And now, the games I would plan to walk through. They would be Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'm more familiar with those games than Mega Man 6. <coughs> Mega Man 6 is one of the most forgotten games. Also, for some of the games, I'll be doing no damage runs. Unlike Rob Mithril, I will fully allow charge shots. Which means Bright Man will be complete and told non-issue because because I could completely pass by 12, 20, and 24 with, without a bite. This is where I stopped last time to record. I think one more room or one more death will be good enough for me to stop the recording entirely. I do want to die though. So I got like 99 something rooms. Go back and check, rewind it. No need to put the annotations here. Just check it out. Also, can't wait for Mario Kart 8 and the new Smash Brothers to come out. I'm very excited to play as this blue bomber right here. Especially in the Smash games. And no hell. This place is utter hell in Rockman No Constancy, I can tell you that. Rockman No Constancy is such a brutal game, especially on hard mode. That game is fucking horrible on that. Also, much like the hot dogs, these guys are weak to the air shooter. Again, completely ignoring the laws of Pokemon science and Mega Man weakness logic. Now sometimes I can get around that atomic chicken, but not all the time. Sometimes I can be caught by that. I actually really feel like dying right now. Yet, I want to try. Oh my god! Yeah, see how difficult this is? And it's not like it's easy to creep up, either. It's not like Mega Man 3 and onward, where you can just easily do this. You still have to slide that really annoying momentum slide in this game. Speaking of Mega Man and Castlevania, I really feel like doing a playthrough. I don't know. I would make a game and then play through it. It would be called Megavania. Mega Man Physics Castlevania Elements. I shall say nothing more of it, leaving it all for you to discover. Okay, after this room, I'm just gonna stop the recording. I'm pretty good at beating most of the bosses in Mega Man. Buster only. 
Using weaknesses, that doesn't count. You gotta use the Mega Buster. Don't say you can be a boss easily if you're not using the Mega Buster. <laughs> and honestly, as easy as Flash Man may be, he's actually one of the hardest, in my opinion, to beat. Very easy with the Metal Blade, not as easy, Buster only. Also, check out Mac and Dirty 76's channel. He makes very awesome stuff. Many videos stay posted with him. And that's really all I have to talk about here. School's almost over. I know where to go to college. And I haven't actually put my payment in yet, but I still know where I'm going to go. For example, here is Alien. This guy takes out a fuck ton of health if you actually come in contact with him. And he can only be hurt with the bubble lead. I've never beaten this guy. Let's see if this is the first. <coughs> Alright, Wily, it's time to fight you. Oh, wait, you're an alien? Ah! Now, if you were to play this guy in the original Mega Man 2, you'll know exactly who he is. Now, in the Wily Wars, which I absolutely hate so much, he's given invincibility frames, which means you can't smack as many hits on him per pass without losing any energy. See those pellet shots? They took up so much. They take out so much health. He doesn't have invincibility frames here either, though. All the bosses in Mega Man 2 and 3. They don't have any invincibility frames. But the Wily Wars pretty much fixed that for most of the bosses. Most of them. Like, for example, Mecha Dragon. He... He doesn't take you. Oh my god, I did it! See, it was just this lab, and this is normally where Wily would be standing. We were just at 32 screens, and... Oh, uh, come on. How I want to fail. Alright. Right here, I'm stopping the recording. Alright, we're back. Let's see how much farther we can get here in the Mega Man 2 Endless. Ah! Uh, Again, scroll off screen, try again. Yeah, just jump right into the shots. That's good. Th that's a good thing. Yay, we died! Thank you for watching this update video, as many of these have been made. I still don't know what my last review is going to be, but I'll let you find that out when I actually do this. So this is the Fred's Theory 2 signing out. Have a great night, and I hope you enjoyed this.